I'd like to show you the liver model today. Now, this is a lobule, as is this, and you have parts of lobules here. In the center, well, first of all, notice that hexagonal shape, and at the corner of each, we have a portal triad. Here we can see green, red, and purple, and we'll look at that more closely on the other side of this model in a moment. This purple in the center, that is the central vein. So we get the idea that there are many lobules within the liver. Now, this is a close-up of this part of a lobule. So this is the central vein here. We can see many individual cells here. These are hepatocytes. These depressions here in the middle are sinusoids. So sinusoids are lined with hepatocytes. The portal triad here is on the back side. And what we see is red, purple, and this green tube. This green tube is the bile duct. The purple tube is the hepatic portal vein. And the hepatic artery is in red here. So the red and purple are dumping blood into the sinusoids. That blood is then filtered by the cells, the hepatocytes on either side. I'm not sure how close to get, so let's see. And then this bile duct, we see this lining here. We see this coming up from here. So material actually exits and comes out this way to the bile duct. So bile is being created in here. Whereas material that is being delivered from the artery and vein is coming through these sinusoids to the central vein. And from the central vein, it will exit the liver, moving to the inferior vena cava. Um, there is this spider-like cell in here. One here. There's another one right there. Those are Kupfer cells. And they are designed to help filter out things that don't belong. So they are an immunity cell present in here. All right, that covers our liver model. Thank you for listening.